Hello there. Now this deal is a typical low-level competitive auction. Which you may be surprised about actually because North South have 25 high card points. But after South opens one no trump, would you really try for game with that North 11 point hand? The intermediates are okay, but Jack Doubleton and then just a king and a king and an ace. How likely is it that you're going to make a game? At duplicate pairs, that familiar mantra, underbid, overplay, I would not try for game with that hand. Pass. But the bidding's not over. East is in the cheat seat. East thinks West has quite a bit more than West actually has. East doesn't expect North-South to have 25 high card points because East thinks North probably would have bid with those sorts of values. So in the cheat seat, I must say if I was East, I'd be there with two hearts. Now the vulnerability is a little bit dangerous, but it cuts both ways. The opponents are not vulnerable. So if you're making two hearts, which is quite possible if partner's got 11, 12 points and two or three hearts. If you're making two hearts, you're not going to get enough out of defeating one no trump. Even if one no trump goes two down, they're not vulnerable. So them being not vulnerable makes it more appealing for you to bid, although you'd rather be not vulnerable yourself. But I would bid two hearts. Now, as long as North hasn't paused before passing, which puts South in an impossible ethical position and South would have to pass, but if North has path, passed smoothly, if I was South, I'd, I'd be in the bidding. Double. Take out double. When you've got four spades and two hearts, you, you want to double in this auction. You want to compete. West passes. So what should North do? So North could bid two no trumps, which would be a sort of very conservative thing to do. But North's not thrilled, knowing that partner will now receive a heart lead that partner would not have received if North had bid two no trump last time. No, there's a better call available for North here. And I know it's tops and bottoms, but there's a big case for North to pass the takeout double. Now, I know that East West are in an eight card heart fit at the two level, so they're at, they're at the level of their fit which is not normally such a good idea to defend. But two hearts doubled, how likely is it to make? East almost certainly doesn't have six hearts because East would have opened a weak two bit. So East has five hearts. Feels to me like three times out of four, two hearts doubled will go down. And that's pretty good odds. When you're playing duplicate pairs in particular, you have to stomach the odd disaster. If you haven't doubled the opponents into game for the last three months, you're not defending doubled contracts nearly enough. So that is the contract. Two hearts doubled. What should South lead? Now, it's fairly standard. When you or your partner have doubled the opponents in a low-level contract, you should lead a trump. And here, top of a doubleton, queen of hearts. If South instead had led the queen of clubs, De Clare is going to get pretty close to making this contract, able to rough clubs. But queen of hearts is a killer. De Clare does best to duck this, to try to sever the communication. Another heart, 
De Clara wins cheaply and leads a club. De Clara's hoping South has the ace of clubs and South wins the ace and can't find a way of getting partner on lead for partner to lead the king of hearts and kill the club rough. But unfortunately for De Clara, Dummies Bear King loses to North's ace. Quickly, the king of hearts hits the deck and I'm afraid that sounds the death knell for De Clara. South threw a diamond there. Normally you want to keep four card suits. Throw from three card suits, rely on partner to keep those suits. I don't think this story is going to have anything like a happy ending for De Clara now. Switch to the Jack of Spades. Good play there from North. Just to take the pressure off the ending on partner. De Clara's roughing a diamond. Away goes the ace. Dummy's ten of diamonds is a winner, but De Clara's never going to get to the dummy. Eight of clubs. Riding round to North's nine. Through the spade. Carefully there to avoid South getting end played. And South's going to have a bonanza for the next two or three tricks. Clubs are good. And I really don't think East did anything wrong at all, but East has lost 800 points. An innocent cheat seat call there, which I would have made for sure. It just goes to show, doesn't it? How you can extract big numbers if you have the courage to risk a bottom. And didn't North's pass of one no trump work out well for an unexpected reason? Three no trump probably would have made, in fact. But 800 points is a whole lot better than that. And I don't in general recommend that you go uh, looking for game when you have a fairly ordinary 11 point hand and your partner's opened a weak no trump. I think it's losing bridge. Certainly at duplicate pairs, I would have passed with that North hand quick as a flash. I hope you enjoyed the deal more than East will have done in my scenario. It may well, it very well have gone very different at your table. It may very well have gone something like one no trump, pass two no trump, pass three no trump, pass, pass, pass. West probably leading a diamond. Although there is a case on that auction for West not to lead a minor when North hasn't done a stamen or a transfer. There is a case for West to lead a major. And there is a case for West to lead a heart, not wanting to lead from four to the king, hoping to find partner at home in hearts. If uh, West had found a heart lead, then three no trump won't make. But that would be inspired, wouldn't it? I wonder what happened to you. Lots of interesting variations there. And I look forward to running through another board very soon. Bye.